guys, welcome back to another Sim Sculpting Sundays. Um, this is actually not sped up as much as it normally is, just because I have a lot to say about this person. So, I really hope I'm not pronouncing this wrong. I did listen to pronunciation guides, but I'm terrible at things, and you all know this. But this is Harem Sultan, who is also known as Roxlana. And I actually wrote down some facts and information because I felt so bad about the Cora Pearl one where I was just too tired to talk. So let's see if I can get through it all. So, she was part of the Imperial Harem. She possibly was named Anastasia or Alexandra originally, but we, we honestly don't know. She was kidnapped by Crimean Tatars and basically selected by the Valid Sultan at the time, Hafsa, as a gift for her son, Sulan. Sulan the Great. Really hope I'm pronouncing his name right. But yeah, she, that, that was just kind of a fact of life. So how the Vikings kind of had their own weird thing, like a lot of cultures did weird things with kidnapping people. It's not great, just a fact. She ended up becoming a favorite of him, obviously, and she really had an unprecedented rise, because she went from a harem slave to the legal wife of the Sultan, and basically queen of the Ottoman Empire, and that had just, that had never happened before. Like, he freed her, married her, and it was just, it was very shocking, because it just, it was not done. She also had six children with him, which also just was not done. They really essentially boiled down to one concubine mother, one son, that was it. Like, they did not have multiple sons. Culturally, that's just not something that they did. But, Harem Dad, Harem did Dad, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, guys. Um, not only did, did she do that thing, but she actually was the first Haseki Sultan. That wasn't really a tradition or a term that was used, but starting with her, she really started the Sultanate of Women, which is called the, uh, the Reign of Women, and her sons and grandsons and stuff kind of followed that tradition of they would marry their favorite and she would be raised in Haseki Sultan. That was just, that was it. Sultan, Sultan, I don't know. Um, she also remained at the court for the duration of her life, which was also not common. Usually once their son came of age, 16, 17-ish, he'd be given an area to rule, usually far away, some sort of province, and his mother would go with him and she would never come back unless he ended up becoming Sultan. Like, that's just the way that it was. A lot of really horrible things happened as well to the sons who didn't become the next sultan, and I'm just gonna leave it there. Just say that they had some some interesting ideas, and that was what they did. Uh, she actually ended up moving into Top Copy again. Sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. I tried uh, Palace, which was a big no-no. It was actually there was a rule in place that women were not supposed to live there, but the building that women had lived in burned down and she's just like you know what I'm gonna move in with my husband why not what else she was very involved with matters of state as well she was very intelligent and she was basically a political advisor to her husband and there's a lot of controversy surrounding her as a person you know some people say she was manipulative that there was like a rival well not that there was there was a rivalry going on with Mahadevra which was another wife of the Sultan and she actually was the mother of his oldest son, who traditionally would have been the next sultan. And technically, Harem... There's speculation that she was involved with Mustafa's execution. Mustafa being the person who was next in line, so to speak. And there's no real first-hand sources on that, but obviously her son's lives would have been forfeit if Mustafa did become sultan, so she would be incentivized in some ways to not have that happen. But one of the main things with Harem and all of the women involved with the Sultanate of Women and just in the Imperial Harem in general, very few people were allowed inside the inner circle of the Harem. Like, definitely not ambassadors, definitely not the Ottoman people, like, you were not allowed in there. And so a lot of like the portraits and stuff that exist of her are not actually of her. So 
I did use them as reference. I also used the actress who played her in the show uh, Magnificent Century, which is, a, I believe, a Turkish show. I haven't seen it. I've lived vicariously through other people who have on Tumblr, and it looks really pretty, and I would love to see it. Need more time, and also to figure out where I could watch it. So yeah, I just kind of based it off that. We knew she had red hair and was very cheerful, so I was like, let's just run with it. Let's just make her kind of wholesome. She was involved with a lot of charity work. That was something that she's very well known for. She was incredibly generous. She built a lot of different buildings, you know, schools, mosques, a women's hospital. There were soup kitchens. Like she really was involved and she really did love her husband. Like they were known to just be not enamored, but like they cared about each other. And that wasn't, it just didn't happen. That, wasn't the way that things were done, but they just kind of said, yeah, we don't, we don't want to follow those rules, so we're just going to kind of do what we, what we want to do. And it set up this whole chain of really incredible, interesting women that they went from literal slavery and not like, I don't know if I can say the word sex, but that sexual slavery a little bit to being very powerful and being in the position where they could do things for other women, such as building women's hospitals, taking care of the poor, like, it's, it's interesting, the juxtaposition there. And that's why I wanted to make her, not only because her face is lost to history, because we will never know what she actually looked like, but she was interesting. And I know I make a lot of female sims for these, but that's mostly just because I enjoy making female sims, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and me actually writing down things to talk about instead of babbling. If you did enjoy this video, definitely give it a like, and I will see you in the next one.